One of the AI tools that I use almost every single week for work is called LTX Studio, and I've covered it multiple times on this channel, but they just added a new update called Visions, which is going to save me hours of work each week, and hopefully it could save you some time too. And I wanna show you in this video exactly how to use it step by step. And if you're not familiar with LTX Studio, it's an AI platform that could turn a text prompt into a complete video, and it handles the entire process from the idea all the way to the finished exported video. But the Visions upgrade that I'm about to show you, it basically allows you to create an entire pitch presentation in a single click. Now, I run a video production company here in Chicago, and I've had that for about 15 years or so, and we create a lot of high-end commercial projects, and a bulk of that actually requires pitching the concept to the client, kind of storyboarding it, given our idea across in a pitch presentation. And usually this is very time consuming, it takes usually a team of multiple people, several hours. So now, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use LTX Studio to create these pitch presentations for clients for any type of project. And I had a very similar project, the pitch deck I'm about to create here. I've had a similar project where we had to create a commercial to promote Hawaii tourism, kind of a hard gig, but the concept is basically showing two different couples that go on a Hawaiian vacation. One is gonna do it in luxury. It's gonna be a whole type of a different experience. And the other couple is gonna do it on budget and focus more on the adventure side. And we basically wanna illustrate both options and provide a really fantastic vacation either way. So that's kind of the project that I'm gonna cover with LTX Studio here. Now here on the homepage of LTX Studio, I have three options. I could create a story, I could visualize a concept, which is what I'm gonna choose in this case, or I could just start here with a blank project. Now, if you don't have LTX Studio, I'll put a link in the description so you could sign up and follow along. Let's go ahead and visualize a project. Then, very simple, I could start here with just describing a few scenes in text, a whole story, a whole script. In this case, I actually use ChatGPT, and it makes the process a whole lot easier, and then I would just tweak it from there. But all I did with ChatGPT, I said, help me craft a 60 second TV commercial. Here's the idea. Two different people, I already described that in the beginning. And what he did was he gave me a description of every single scene here. So I have a scene by scene breakdown. I have the narration because this is gonna have voiceover, which is gonna be AI generated in LTX as well. So all I have to do is take it and copy and paste it over to LTX Studio. Okay, and here's our entire shot list for that 60 second commercial. And LTX Studio is gonna take care of the casting for us in a few seconds. So we got the four characters. If for some reason we decided to add another couple, I could add a couple more characters from up here. If I wanna change any of these characters, I could press this option and it will cast a new person. If I wanna do a face switching, which is cool, you could drop an image and it will replace the face, leaving everything else. Or if you wanna edit this character, you could actually change everything about them, their age, their essence, appearance, clothing, even their voice, which I'll show you in a little bit. And you got yourselves the characters, the casting is done. Next, I wanna choose the aspect ratio. Sometimes when we create these, they want a version of it that goes on Instagram, for example. It's not just for TV, in 16 by nine. So you could go ahead and change that over here too. In this case, this is gonna be for TV. Then visual style, this is really cool. You have lots of different styles, but typically this is obviously commercial, so cinematic is what I wanna choose. So I almost always choose cinematic, sometimes standard, but you do have ton of different options. Now this new option right here, style reference, this is really nice. So visions, basically if you upload a visual assets, it will mimic that style throughout your entire project. And this opens up so many new possibilities for diversifying the type of output that we're getting out of this. So this is fantastic new option, especially if you're using this for a realistic commercial type projects here. Let me actually show you the style preference in an actual project because you could actually do this later too. So I just have a project open and I'll go back to the previous step in a second. But all your projects have a project settings where you could actually change the video style and you could change your style reference. So I wanna add an image here and show you exactly what it does. I'm gonna upload one here. So here's the image I have that I wanna use as a reference. So the level of saturations, the colors, the vibrance, all that is gonna come across. So I just have to upload that here. And then I have a slider here. How much of that intensity do I wanna bring in? In this case, I want quite a lot of it. So these are the existing shots here. And if I press apply, it basically goes and applies that to your entire project. And here's the new project using that style reference, a whole lot changes with my project. So let me remove it just to show you 
what we had before. So take a look at these images. And at any time, I could go ahead and delete this, press apply, and it reverts back to my existing project. A completely different look to it. This time, I want to mimic a film noir look. This is kind of a style of that. I'm going to add that. Let me apply that. Now here, we got an entirely different project, right? The blacks are much darker, a lot of shadows here. Just using that picture as a style reference. Again, anytime I could decide to lower the intensity, raise the intensity, or I could just go ahead and delete it, apply it, and I'll go back to my original project. Now, let me take you back to the setup page again. Now, once I get to this last page, the breakdown page, we got the synopsis. This is kind of the concept that we had. We have the scene by scene breakdown over here, and it's going to create multiple shots within each scene. This is the scene is kind of the overall concept. And within that, we're going to have a few different shots. So I'm going to go ahead and start and it will generate everything else for us from here. OK, here we got the output from LTX Studio and it turned out pretty well so far. So we got individual scenes here. So these are the different scenes here on the left side. And within each scene, you have multiple different shots that it creates. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's five. And then you kind of get the story across this way. And for some reason, if I wanted to add more in this case, I would have a very specific shot list. So I wouldn't come and add here. But if I did or if I got client feedback, all I have to do is press the plus sign here to add a shot to any one of these scenes or in between these scenes, I could add a new scene. Let's say they wanted to see something totally different that I did not have in my original concept. I could just go ahead and add it from here. And then every scene here basically has a prompt and it has a different type of shots that you want. In this case, I want a kind of broad drone shots that we would capture here if we were to get this project. And then here there are medium shots introducing the different couples in different scenes, different clothing. You can see one is luxury, one is more budget friendly, and it keeps going in the same theme that way. Now, at this point, what I would do is I would go through each shot. I could go to the shot editor, which is this entire different page here where I have lots of different options available. And then I would either create a new shot. You could easily create a new shot every single time and generate a new one by just pressing this option right here. Or you could edit the frame itself. They have lots of different options. You could remove objects within a scene. You could change the camera angle. And then when you're happy with the first picture here, what you would do is go to the motions tab and then decide how much movement you want to get. Now that's totally optional. The visions concept that I'm about to show you creates a PDF presentation. So you don't even actually have to do the next step, but usually I would take that PDF, which I'm about to show you the presentation and then take it a whole different step, which wasn't possible before, but now I will give them an AI animated commercial basically. AI created commercial and then say, hey, this is kind of what we were thinking. It has all the movement. It has all kinds of different things that we just couldn't do before. It was just kind of storyboard format. So typically I choose like a scene here. I reduce the scale a little bit here. I choose how long I want this clip to be. So in this case, three seconds is just fine. And I will go ahead and generate the video from here. And it gives you four different options in preview mode. So let me finish this up. And I'm just going to go ahead and generate just one of these here, but it does give you four different kind of movements. But once I'm happy with one of those motions, this will give me the nice rendering of it over here that I could use in my final presentation. OK, here we got ourselves a video. Let me press play on it. You could see really subtle drone motion. This is typically how we would capture this coastline with a drone. It wouldn't be just some fast moving shot. It would be a subtle movement and that Right here, these motion tabs allow me to do exactly that. I reduce the scale. I make it really subtle here. And then when you go back to the storyboard mode, now this is turned into video. You could see I could regenerate the video from here or I could just decide this is perfect. I'll go to the next shot and I'll generate the video just directly from here. This time I don't have to go change any of those detail settings if I don't want to. Now, let me show you this one option, the pitch deck option that I showed you. Then I'll show you how to actually finalize the video. But if you go to this export option right here, right here, it says pitch deck. This is just fantastic. You could just click this right here. And this is basically going to create a presentation for you that you could use in a meeting. It's downloaded it to my computer in a few seconds. Let me show you what this looks like. OK, here it is. This is a PDF, a 23 page PDF here. And look, it has my casting here. It has different things about each character here that we would need when we're doing this as an actual project. Then it creates this mood board, which we used to literally go on the internet and find random pictures like this. It did all this for us. These are not part of this commercial, right? But this is a mood board. 
then he's using this to create those type of images for us created a color palette again a whole different manual process that we used to do and the storyboard that's basically what i showed you that you could kind of fine tune every single thing and then once it's finalized this is a shot by shot storyboard that you could use again to show this to a client and then if they like it or if they have notes much easier to fix it here than in editing or during production or at any other stage right you want to get it done in this stage and then he has a detailed breakdown of every single scene so luxury and adventurous right here we showed the two different scenes here the morning contrast fantastic right we have so much here to work with it's giving us a location the lighting the weather all the things that we could tweak within each shot now at this point i could be done and maybe that's all i need to pitch to a client and it took me like 10 20 minutes to do all that right but maybe the next step is right here, it says 15 static shots. Well, if I want to turn everything into a video, I could do that, right? I showed you how to do that with a couple of shots over here. So all I have to do is go through the rest of my project, go ahead and look at each frame, decide if a frame looks good as a starting frame, then go to either the generate video tab, just clicking it here, or go to the shot editor where I have more control over the motion, make some tweaks over here, generate it. And then what I typically like to do is I like to go to the soundtrack and I could go ahead and preview that. That goes along with my video. So I have that option over here. The voiceover that I mentioned, we could choose a different narrator here. So there's a bunch of them available that you could just kind of listen to. And I covered those in different LTX videos that I'll put in the description below this video, but it gives you a lot of control over there. And then once you're done with all that, just press export, make sure everything is animated. And then you could go ahead and export everything as a finished video too. So now you got that big PDF that has all the different elements that you would need in any type of creative pitch. You have all that, but now you could actually show someone a video and really take it to the next level. Dreaming of Hawaii? Whether it's luxury or adventure, this paradise has it all. Meet Sarah and James, seeking luxury. And Maya and Alex, chasing adventure. From high-end relaxation to budget-friendly thrills, end your day in style. Different paths, one destination. No matter your style, Hawaii is the paradise you deserve. Thanks again for LTX Studio for supporting the channel, sponsoring this video. Again, as a creative person, this is one of the most practical and useful applications in the world of AI. So I'm really excited for you to try it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I will catch you on the next video.